2 Timothy 1, 1 through 7. From Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to promote the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Creator and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God whom I serve with a clear conscience as my ancestors did. I remember you constantly in my prayers day and night. Recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that lived first in your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice, and now I am sure lives in you. For this reason, I remind you to revive the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-control. Luke 17, 5 through 10. The apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Would any of you say to your servant who had just come in from the field after plowing or tending sheep, come, sit down for dinner? Wouldn't you say instead, fix my dinner? Put on the clothes of a table servant and wait on me while I eat and drink. After that, you can eat and drink. You won't thank the servant because the servant did what you asked, will you? In the same way, when you have done everything required of you, you should say, we servants deserve not special praise. We've only done our duty.